What's up, everyone? Welcome to another edition of Darren's Thoughts. My name is Darren Shetty. These are my thoughts. Hope you guys are doing well. As always, thanks for the support. Just wanted to check in. Uh, last night, I was sent... You know, I've been working for Showbiz India. I've been doing their entertainment news. I think I'm getting better doing it. I do it every week. My boss asked me to go to the South Asian Oscar party at Paramount Studios. Celebrate South Asians' ascension in Hollywood, but also it was the 20th anniversary of Harold and Kumar. So uh, that, you know, Cal Penn was in it, a South Asian lead. So it was like a dual party. I don't know. And a bunch of Oscar nominees. There's a few, there are a few Asians who have like, you know, best documentary or something in the Oscars. So they were there. And so I was uh, asked to go cover the red carpet. I'm 100% on this always. And you know what I realized last night? Like, South Asians, Indians, I mean, there really aren't many A-lister Indians. Can you name, tell me one? I mean, what was interesting also was I kind of knew, like, at least 50% of people walking the red carpet and stuff. Because I've been in this business so long, and I felt like a loser. Because <laughs> I, I was like, hey, what's up? Remember me? Like, like you still working at Showbiz India? I was like, yep, here I am. You know, I saw Cal, Cal Penn. Cal's a good guy, man. He's, he's pretty chill, and I have nothing bad to say about the guy. He's pretty chill. And uh, just an affable dude, and <laughs> I kept doing this thing to him last night where I was like, I was talking to random people, and they were like, oh man, Cal, so I'd love to meet him. I'm like, oh, I know Cal Penn. And I kept like interrupting Cal, like, Cal, you gotta meet this person. And then I would like leave him with this random stranger. <laughs> I just make myself laugh. And then uh, this dude Jay Shetty was there, or Jay Shetty. I mean, I've trashed this guy before. <laughs> this guy walking around. I don't give a fuck. I didn't, I didn't say one word to him, but I kind of wanted to go up to be like, hey man, you see my video where I impersonated you? But uh, man, the guy's super huge still, even though he's getting trashed right now, um, making up fake credentials and whatever. But I saw that years ago. And you know what? Nobody gives a fuck. They don't. This is Hollywood. If you make money, people will continue to pay you even through your scandals. You know? I mean, look, uh, embellishing is not a crime. People look the other way. Especially when they make allegiances toward people. Some other cool people like um, Sujata Day, who was in Date COC. She's doing really well. She was there walking walking the red carpet. And this other guy who was, who was very successful named... Uptarsh or something, um, 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 Booker or something, I don't even know how to say his name, but I guess he's like the lead in Ghost, uh, this huge TV show, and man, this guy's been working forever. I don't know him at all, but I guess he went to NYU around the same time I went there. What I realized too was all you really need is that one break in Hollywood, and then you just, you just keep moving forward, right? Like once you're in, you're in. But you need that one little break, man. And that one break is so tough to get. I could be jaded about it, but I was like, you know, I'm very honored to even be part of it. I was like, I'm grateful to be working, you know, in Hollywood. I'm not going to be some jaded comedian. And I went there. I mean, I researched all day, man. I researched these guys all day. They gave me like a face sheet of like people who were going to be there. I researched all of them all day. I had good questions. In fact, there was one lady on the red carpet, and uh, it's very competitive on the red carpet. You've got to like, you know, hold up, hey guys, split K over here, da 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 da, show India. And there's this one lady there, and, and they really weren't mobbing her or anything, but you know who she was? Because I researched her. She is directing the new Star Wars, right? That's huge. Can't even say her name. But she won two Oscars, yeah, female Indian. And so I interviewed her and I was like, man, she's probably the biggest person on this red carpet in terms of Hollywood cachet. I mean, everybody else, look, again, I respect them all. They're all doing great stuff, uh, TV shows and stuff. But I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, we're not saying like Robert Downey Jr. walk, walk through the red carpet or something, you know? Uh, but hey, you know what? I guess if this is where South Asians are, I'm just glad uh, I'm a part of it in this moment in time, and I'm sure it'll continue to ascend in another 10, 20 years, and maybe South Asians will get further along, and <laughs> hopefully I'll, I'll be part of that world uh, instead of on the other side of the velvet rope on the red carpet. Hey, I hope you guys have a great day. We'll talk soon. Take care.